Happy holidays, everybody. Today, we're gonna be doing some ornament painting with kids, and I'm gonna show you the process. And we're gonna start by putting out our craft paper or any kind of paper you have to cover your surface. Kids can be messy, and let's be honest, so can adults. If um, a kid is watching this, make sure that if you're not allowed to use scissors, that your parent or guardian does it. And I like to use tape to secure everything to make sure it's less likely to move around. Then you'll need some paper towel, a paper plate, extra paint if you want, and some value pack brushes. And that's good for little kids especially, because if they ruin them, no big deal. Now you're gonna want two cups of water. I like to use one that I use for my kit, and then the other one is acrylic paint. So two different paint types. I use two different water cups. So then I have my kit here, and this is a pre-made watercolor gouache kit. And here you have your palette already made, a guide booklet that walks you through it with tips and tricks, and also the final result. It's a paint by number, so it matches the color with the area that you wanna paint that color. And then inside also are your brush and then a raw um, three pack ornament set, along with ribbon for hanging afterwards. So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you, kind of situate my space a little bit here. And I wanna show you that you can use the kit or you can also use, if you don't have it, you can improvise just by having some raw wood ornaments and use acrylic paint. So I'm gonna go and start by using the kit. Again, with the brushes, you can use the one from the kit or you can use the value pack. And I suggest, again, if it's a little kid, use the value pack. That way, again, if they're ruined, no big deal. I used the matching paint by number just to know what I wanna color for the bottom, which was yellow. But again, this is kinda of up to you. As you're painting with kids, they don't always follow direction, especially if they're younger. So I actually suggest if you do end up getting both, you get the kit and some extra paint, then you know have the older child paint the front that requires a little bit more detail and you know a little bit more um, precision and then if you have a younger child that wants to participate as well then they can always paint the back and I'll show you what that looks like as well just keep using the palette I'm going by the paint by number So while one is drying, you can move on to the next. And again, maybe this one might be easier because it requires a little less precision. It's covering a larger surface area where you can make mistakes and go out the, of the lines. So this might be the better ornament for the younger child. You can go over it a few times just to get a deeper color. And again, this palette here is the gouache watercolor gouache. So if you use this then and you want a lasting quality, make sure that you seal it after it dries. And you can use any type of sealer, clear sealant. I suggest a spray like a Krylon sealant. And you can get that at Michael's or really any craft store. So here I'm showing you if I go out the lines, which we all do. And what you want to do is just use your paper towel and some water and just lift it out like that. It's like magic. So that's another suggestion. If you go out of the lines, which again happens, just you can fix it. It doesn't mean that that's the end. And I like to go in and blend things around the edges. And this kind of technique will probably be more for an older child who has a little bit more technique. So now what I'm gonna do is again, add a little bit of color for the flowers up here using the gouache. This could be easily done by a younger child. Again, the precision is limited. You get out of the lines, it's fine. There's not a lot of detail work in it. I'm moving on to the acrylics. And I like to keep it, especially when I paint with small children, use paint that's within the same color family for each plate. That way, they do not have a tendency to mix some contrasting colors together. It's kind of a color theory thing. You would just wanna make sure that it doesn't turn brown. 
So now I flip my saguaro over, and this is really good for little kids. You can use the back as a base, and they can go wild on it. They can do whatever they want. There's a big surface area there. They can create any kind of design they want. And then you can leave the front area either for yourself or an older kid. And it's kind of like this combined ornament that you could put on your tree that you guys have both painted. So you go in and layer, wait between layering um, to dry. So that way things just really have a nice crisp look. And then I moved on to my prickly pear on the back. Again, a very big surface area, easy for kids to fill. They can go out of the lines, no problem. I'm all about kids just doing like what they want, any kind of design they want. So now I'm going back to my gouache. I'm just finishing up the top here. Again, using the paint by number sequence, better for an older child. Filling in, adding some detail with shadows. Just a little technique to add a little bit of dimension. Finishing off the saguaro, and that will be the end of this ornament. And there you go. And I like to wait till that dries. So I'm moving on to another one. And for this saguaro for the back, I'm going to use some yellow and cover just the flower area at the top. Perfect for a small child. If you fill that hole on accident, use a toothpick or a skinny brush to poke through. That way it doesn't dry with acrylic and you can't hang it. Now I'm moving on to my prickly pear. So now that I have the base, I'm gonna add a little bit of detail with the prickles. Just a cute little polka dot style. Okay, so now I put red on there. And that's because for the greenery, I'm done. That way you can kind of watch your kid and you can put on a different plate if you wanted. Because if you do mix your red with your green, you end up with brown. So that's why I just try to shy away from them all being on the same plate at the same time. Now I'm gonna do the same thing with the little prickles for the saguaro. I'm gonna use a little bit of the darker green acrylic. And with the acrylic, I'm using the cheaper brushes because again, little kids are more, more likely to ruin them um, and they're just so cheap, so I wouldn't worry about it. Having a few different sizes helps, ones that are a little bit skinnier, and ones that are have provide more surface area, that are flat, easy for kids to fill. So just, you know, doing some final little touches on the front here, and you have your front and back done for your saguaro. So now that this one is dry, make sure your area is clean or it's dry, there's nothing gonna transfer to the back. I'm gonna use the acrylic on the back here and kind of just come up with my own design. Adding some blue and yellow, just some nice contrast here. And just go to town with it, whatever you like, whatever color combination. Again, with littler kids, try to stick within a similar color family where if the colors do mix together, you don't end up with some like mucky, mucky brown color. To finish painting, make sure you let everything dry and then you can seal your ornaments and then add your ribbon hanger and then you have this double-sided beautiful ornament. I hope you guys enjoyed. Happy painting.